All right, Brittany, thank you. Let's turn now to your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Chief Meteorologist Tony Petraca is in the Weather Center. And Tony, uh, as we just heard, this is great news for snowmaking, but is certainly not comfortable cold outside. No, you're right. It's pretty intense, but at the same time, it's very short-lived. It's only for a couple of days, mm -hmm. so we're centered on really uh, Friday and Saturday. In fact, you'll be surprised at just how mild it'll get by Sunday afternoon. Temperatures will get back into the 40s. Looking at Narragansett Town Beach with the sunshine and the chilly conditions in the 30s. Nothing too unusual for this time of year, at least not yet. We'll take a peek outside under clear skies in New Bedford right now with temps in the 30s and really no weather issues for tonight. We'll keep things kind of clear and dry and overall it looks uh, pretty good for tomorrow as well. We've got temperatures now that are generally between about 30 and 35 looking at 34 in Providence. New Bedford now checking in at 33. So nice weather for tomorrow with sunshine, breezy temperatures in the uh, in the middle 30s and this much advertised blast of very cold air pretty much sent on both Friday and Saturday near record low temperatures by Saturday morning and dangerous wind chills as we talked about earlier. They may be ranging somewhere between 20 and 30 degrees below zero and just an incredible 24 hour temperature rebound by Sunday afternoon uh, temperatures recovering into the lower 40s and those above average temperatures will continue into early next week. But it is downright cold and unfortunately it's coupled with some strong wind. So we have these dangerous wind chills and these uh, bitter cold temperatures. The actual air temperature, and it doesn't happen very often, getting below zero by daybreak on Saturday. In the meantime, skies are clear after some uh, light snow showers early this morning. From Cape Cod back through the Midwest, it's fairly quiet, courtesy of a high pressure. Let's take a look at the wider view, and that colder air is located where else? Over the border, up in Canada. This uh, pink, this leading edge of pink is the, the very cold air. When we take this into the future, tracking what we call an Arctic cold front, which is still to our west tomorrow. This is Thursday afternoon mid to upper 30s, pretty nice, but then the cold front arrives during the pre-dawn hours of Friday. So by Friday morning, now these are actual air temperatures, not wind chills, uh, we're down to about 18 degrees. By Friday evening, again, actual air temperature, not the wind chill, 8 o'clock in the evening, two above zero, all the way down to seven degrees below zero by 6 a.m. on Saturday. Get a close-up look. We'll backtrack to this evening and overnight, which is fairly quiet. Skies are clear. Looking at dry conditions by 7 o'clock in the morning, starting off between about 20 and 25. Nothing too unusual for early February. Uh, during the afternoon, sunny skies, breezy in the upper 30s, and tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, looking okay with clear and dry conditions back to around 32 at 11 o'clock. So heading out this evening, skies are clear by 11 o'clock. We're at uh, 28 degrees, and then during the afternoon, our uh, morning hours, a sunshine by 11 a.m. We're up to about 35 and then staying dry and bright with blue skies during the afternoon, topping out in the upper 30s. All right, seven day forecast looking at the frigid weather on Friday. Instead of the temperatures rising on Friday, they are falling rapidly with the approach of the Arctic cold front. It is downright dangerous and bitterly cold Friday night into Saturday morning around four to seven degrees below zero in the morning, 16 above during the afternoon. Look at this huge temperature recovery on Sunday at 43 in the afternoon, though it starts off at 15 in the morning and then early next week, temperatures once again running uh, back above average in the middle 40s. So looking OK next uh, roughly 24 hours and then we are heading into the deep freeze, unfortunately, during that two day time frame between about Friday and into Saturday. So be careful. Tony, thanks.